You are welcome to my channel. This video is a complete guide to IP CCTV camera installation. Among the things I'll be sharing in this video include how to fully connect PoE IP cameras. We will also be looking at how to connect non-PoE IP cameras using a PoE splitter. We will as well be looking at how to link a PoE switch to an NVR in order to enable you hook up all connected cameras to your NVR. Lastly, we will be looking at how to do remote view where I will be sharing how to connect your internet router to the system. We will look at how to create your remote user accounts and then I will also be showing you how to do the phone configuration for the remote login. It's a full package, please stay to the end. We will be using these two IP cameras. Please note that this one is a PoE IP camera and this other one is a non-PoE IP camera. Therefore, we will be using the PoE splitter to help connect this camera. Here is the PoE switch that we will be using. It is a 4-port PoE switch having two uplink ports. Here is our NVR. It has only one LAN port, hence the need for the PoE switch. Here is also a SIM-based internet router to help supply internet to our CCTV system so that we can do the remote view. So this is basically for the purpose of the remote view. Of course, we'll be using CAT6 network cables fitted with RJ45 plugs for our cable connections. Let's start with our connections. Because this one is a PoE IP camera, all I need to do is to plug the CAT6 cable into the Ethernet jack and connect the other end to the PoE switch. And this is the full connection of the PoE IP camera. For the non-PoE IP camera, it requires the PoE splitter connected to the camera like this. And then this is where you connect the network cable and further connect the other end to the PoE switch. As you can see, both cameras are now connected to the PoE switch. We now have to link up the NVR to the PoE switch by connecting a cable from the Ethernet port of the NVR to any of the uplink ports of the PoE switch. What this connection means is that the output of the PoE switch, which is the uplink port, is now fed into the NVR so that everything that is connected to the switch will be outputted to the NVR. Let's also connect the internet, which we intend to use for the remote login. So I will take a cable out from the internet router and put it into the PoE switch so that the internet can be shared with the cameras connected to the switch and also the NVR will receive the internet through the output of the switch which is fed into the NVR. Let me give a brief explanation here. The two cameras are connected here together with the internet source which is here and the output of the switch which is carrying the two cameras and the internet is now fed into the NVR. This implies that the NVR will see the two cameras and internet will be present on the NVR. Let me quickly connect my monitor, a mouse and power to the NVR and I will also power up the PoE switch and the internet router. I have powered up all the devices. Let me try and search for the cameras. I will run the search. 
I will add all the cameras. All right, the cameras are up. I want to straight away create the remote user account. So I will go to system setup and then user. Under user group, I will select network user and then add. This is where to create the remote username and the login password. I'm going to give the username as TIS and then the password 9949. Please note that this username and password will be required to view your cameras online. I want all these features usable on remote login, so I will choose all and then create this user account. Let's also check for the Cloud C ID of this NVR, which is required for the remote view. It can be found under System Setup Network. Here is the Cloud C ID. And the status of the NVR is online, which means that our internet is active. The next process is to go onto the phone or mobile device and download and install the Remote View app. My camera system is a Joe Vision brand, so I will download and install Joe Vision camera app. I need to give access permissions required by the app. At the final point, you will need to register and log into the app and then add the NVR using the Cloud C ID you saw earlier on. I'm required to input the Cloud C ID here and then click OK. You then have to select and open the added device as it is here. Further choose the desired camera. Here it requires the username and password. This is where you put in the network username and password we created. So I will put in TIS as username. And then the password 9949. Okay. So you can see the first camera. You can flip through to see the other cameras. Thanks for watching this video.